Hi, we're in northern Uganda at the moment in a small town called Kitgum, just south of the border with South Sudan. And we'd like to show you a little machine that we've developed at Mission for Vision, which will enable us to produce glasses in these very remote areas. Here we have an aluminium cradle that fits over two cutting wheels. The first is a roughing wheel which removes the majority of the lens until we achieve the actual lens shape we require. And then next to that we have a finishing wheel on which uh, we can produce the bevel that will enable the lens to fit into the frame. Next to the wheels we have a cover which protects a little motor. This motor is taken out of a tile cutting machine and it's ideal for this job. It's 650 watts and it produces just about the right amount of power that we need to do the job. So the platform or the cover then just protects that from the water that we use during the, the glazing process. The first thing we do is we put a former, we locate the former onto a stainless steel rod which houses the spectacle lens and we then screw a small handle on the other side of the former to, to lock the former in place and the handle also enables us then to rotate the lens whilst it's being cut. On the other side we have a stainless steel screw which um, enables us to put the lens onto the, the chuck. We use a sticky pad and a plastic button which then fits into the chuck and we can then tighten the screw up to make sure that the lens is firmly in place. And you can see that the handle then turns the lens and we can put it over the wheel. This is the platform which determines the size of the lens. You'll see that the platform is the same shape as the, the wheel and we use a small gauge which enables us to calibrate the size of the lens and if we turn it either clockwise or anticlockwise it will either the lens will either become smaller or larger so once we've set the gauge to the right height we can then put the splash guard on and then we make sure that the water supply is facing the right way we add a little extension that enables us to direct the water more accurately and we can then lower the lens onto the wheel we can control the water flow by using a tap. It doesn't need to be too much water, just enough to cover the wheels and to make the process of cutting the lens a little easier. We then put the splash guard over the lens and that will contain the water while the lens is being ground down. And uh, we then lower the lens onto the wheel and we gently apply pressure so that the wheel is forced onto the lens. Now during this process we normally just look at the former and uh, we know that when it reaches the platform that it's, it's achieved the size that we require and we just rotate the lens throughout this process. It may take about six or seven minutes to cut the lens down and um, we just have to gently turn the handle and slowly the the lens, the spectacle lens, will conform to the shape of the former itself. When it's been done you can then take the splash guard away and you can see that the spectacle lens now is the same shape as the former. Just to let you know that the the wheels themselves are not particularly harmful you can put your hand in there whilst the motor is running and it won't hurt you so there, there isn't too much of a safety issue with this design we just undo the the screw and this will release the lens and there you can see that the lens fits quite nicely uh, to the shape of the frame the next thing we need to do is to put a bevel onto the lens so this will be the next process that we have to go through. Because it's a fairly thick lens we're going to put the bevel along the back surface of the lens to help it fit the frame a little bit better and to do this we're going to use a different splash guard it gives us greater access to the wheels because this process is done manually as you will see. 
what we have to do first is to direct the water onto the bevel wheel and then just put the lens onto the wheel and uh, carefully rotate it we have to be careful not to change the shape of the lens during this process because it is all being done by hand um, but we just slowly rotate the lens on the wheel and then the bevel is produced once we've gone all the way round we can then offer the lens into the frame and uh, in, as you can see the frame the lens fits very well and uh, all we have to do now is to tighten up the rim screw and lock the lens into place and there we have it the job is done so this just really demonstrates that it is possible to produce glasses in these very remote areas using very simple equipment it's very low tech and the idea would be that perhaps we could set up vision centers using this type of equipment and therefore provide glasses to those people who really have no facilities at all. That's perfect there. Okay, yeah. so that's nice and firm. A bit more. Okay. The water flow is a little bit too strong, so we're just going to turn it down. Oh, tiny, yeah, you can just see exactly what I'm doing. I put them on, so that's a good sign, isn't it?